welcome to the channel. Today we have an interesting product for all you data miners, an EcoWit WitBoy weather station. This seven in one weather station provides you with the ultimate in local weather data and makes it all available within Home Assistant. You get professional meteorological data all within Home Assistant from many weather sensors and for a fraction of the cost of other systems. So let's dive on into the world of weather and see what this amazing little device is all about. The Whipboy comes in a compact box that contains everything you need to get up and running. Inside the box, there are three smaller boxes, one for the Whipboy itself and one for the proprietary communications hub and one for bird spikes. Yes, you heard correctly, bird spikes. More on that later. The main box contains the Whipboy surrounded by foam to protect from accidental damage. The Whipboy is made from UV resistant plastic and is 21 centimeters high by nine centimeters across. It's designed to fit on a 2.5 centimeter or one inch pipe via a clamping mechanism at the bottom. The unit has a dimpled top cover that is used for rain detection. This prevents the buildup of water that would cause inaccurate readings. Below this is the ultrasonic wind speed and direction sensor. On the side of the unit is a battery cover that takes two AA batteries that you'll need to supply. These provide battery backup power in case the solar panel doesn't receive enough sunshine through the day. Above the battery panel is the letter N for north. When mounting, make sure you point this due north so you get accurate wind directions. As the whip boy communicates to the internet through a proprietary communication protocol, it needs a hub to work. The hub is a discrete flying saucer shaped design, 12 centimeters across by 2.5 centimeters tall. It's powered through a barrel jack that needs to be connected to a USB power supply that is also included in the box. Also, there is a short LAN cable that can be used to connect to your router, although the unit supports Wi-Fi. Then there is the third box that contains the bird spikes. As you can imagine, with a device that sits outside in a high area that has a flat surface, it can be a great perch. So those smart engineers at EcoWit have included some bird spikes that you can mount around the top of the whip boy that will prevent birds landing and leaving you presents that will potentially damage the device or at the very least will reduce the efficiency of the integrated solar panels. The whip boy has some great features. The standout of the usual sensors is the piezoelectric rain sensor. This literally measures the number of raindrops that hits the top surface of the whip boy and then through some black magic works out the amount of rain that has fallen. Now that's smart. The engineers then went one further and put dimpling on the top of the sensor to help avoid pooling of water and promote runoff as this would interfere with the sensor. I'm going to do a long term test on this, but all indications are that this is super accurate. For those of you that live in colder climates, EcoWit has you covered. As you might have noticed, there is an external power cord hanging from the whip boy. This is not power for the device, but instead is power for an integrated heater. The whip boy will detect the temperature, heat the unit until any snow has melted, then let the temperature normalize and restart measurements. For those of you that have the whip boy further away from the base station than normal, the proprietary communication offers 300 meters of range with no obstacles or 150 meters width. For those days where there might not be direct sunshine for long periods of time, the whip boy has battery backups that you'll need to supply and fit yourself to allow for measurements to continue to be sent. As the whip boy is going to be living outside, it might have accidental damage. With other manufacturers, this might mean expensive repairs or even replacement. EcoWick gives you the option to replace the temperature and humidity sensor without having to replace the whole unit. You get the usual integration with Google and Amazon Alexa, but as we'll be running through now, you'll get integration into Home Assistant. In addition, you can publish your data to the EcoWick cloud along with literally thousands of other weather stations that publish their data. The EcoWit application is available from both Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Links in the description. I'll be installing this onto an iPhone. Navigate to the App Store. Search for and select EcoWit and download. Select your language and press save. As I'm new to the EcoWit ecosystem, press register in the top right hand corner. Enter your email address. Press the get capture. 
Now check your email and retrieve the code. Now enter a password, tick the Agree and Observe protocols and press Register. Agree with Ecowick connecting to your network. Now press Add New Weather Station. Follow the on-screen instructions. Select your Ecowit hub. Now press Scan QR Code. On an iPhone, it will ask you if you wish to allow the Ecowit application to use the camera. Press Allow. The application will now show you the name of the device, which you can optionally change. You also have the option to make your weather station data public, which means that it will be published to other people. Press the Save button. We've now completed the installation on the application. Now let's go and configure Home Assistant. Now before we start, for the keen-eyed amongst you, you will have noticed that there are in fact two different ways of integrating EcoWid into Home Assistant. One is through the Home Assistant integration and the other is through Hacks. I'll put links in the description to what you can see on screen at the moment so you can make your own choice. As the Hacks integration is no longer maintained, I'll be implementing the Home Assistant integration. Now there are several ways of configuring the EcoWit integration within Home Assistant. The following step-by-step -step guide is the best way that I have found for doing this, but it's not the only way. On your desktop, open Home Assistant, navigate to Settings, Devices and Services, press the blue button in the bottom right hand corner for Add Integration. Search for and select EcoWit. Press Submit. You'll be greeted with a success message, but we are not finished yet. Leave this on screen and open up a separate window. Now plug in your EcoWit hub and wait for a few minutes. If you have tried this once already, then you will need to factory reset your hub. You can do this by holding down the button on the top of the device for 10 seconds or until both lights flash. Now from your desktop, change your Wi-Fi to join the AP SSID for the hub. This will be signified with it starting with GW200. Now in your new window, Navigate to 192.168.4.1, which is the IP address of the hub, and press Enter. Press the Login button. In the left-hand navigation menu, select Weather Station. Scroll down to the section where it says Customized. Back in your Home Assistant screen, copy the path. Move back to the EcoWit side for the Customize Radio button. Turn this on. In the Server Host, type the Server Host IP address that is shown in your Home Assistant. Replace the data report path with the path that you just copied from Home Assistant. Replace the port 80 with port 8123. Optionally update the upload interval and press save. You should see a green success. Now let's go and configure the Wi-Fi. Press the local network. Scroll down to the Wi-Fi network and press scan. Select your router SSID for your 2.4 network. Enter in your Wi-Fi password. Now, if you wish to set a static IP address, this is the time to do it. Press the drop down for the IP address mode, select static, and enter in your static IP address or leave to DHCP to allocate for you. Once you've entered in your IP address information, press apply. Your hub will now connect to your 2.4 network and you should see success. Now you need to change your desktop back to your standard Wi-Fi. Do that in the settings for your machine. Back on Home Assistant, you should now see that a device has been found and your wit boy has should have appeared. Optionally set an area. Now press finish. Now let's go and have a look at all that sensor data that our weather station is pushing across at a Home Assistant. Search for and select EcoWit. Press the device link. Your data from the weather station should now be fully populated. Let's go and place this on a dashboard. Scroll to the bottom of the sensors, add to dashboard, select an appropriate dashboard, press next. Now press Add to Dashboard. Navigate to your dashboard. And now all our information is now displayed. Now your fun can start with dashboard graphs, combinational graphs, mini graphs, and automations for your mower and sprinkler system. So that's the EcoWit Witboy 7-in-1 weather station, a set and forget device that will provide you endless streams of local weather data. Amazing value for money considering what you get. Currently on special offer, links in the description if you want to pick one up. So would I buy one? Yes, I love data. You can never have enough, especially when you're dealing with Home Assistant. This single device already replaces two sensors I have outside. Plus, I can now automate based on accurate sensor information the Whip Boy will provide. I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing and dinging that bell. 
if you found the video useful, then maybe a super thanks or buy me a coffee, although a cold beer would be better in the Australian summers. Until the next one, enjoy practicing your Witherman presentations.